Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Stripping tutorial, and in today's video I'm actually going to be teaching you guys about Roblox messaging service, okay? Now this is actually a lot easier than people think, like a lot of people say that messaging service is hard to understand and confusing, but there's really only two main functions and it's pretty simple, so I don't know why people think that. But anyways, I'm going to explain it very quickly for you guys and very simply uh, in the best way possible that I, that I think. Alright, so if you guys don't know what messaging service is, first of all, um, Basically, messaging service is a service where you can communicate between servers in real time, okay? So less than one second. Now, basically, the, which, this is really cool, right? Because the possibilities for this are like literally endless. So you can make, you know, global leaderboards that can change, you know, every second, really, if you wanted it to. Now, I probably, probably wouldn't want to do that. But, you know what I'm saying? You can change the leaderboards every so often in real time without having to shut it on the server or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? And you can communicate with other servers in real in real time. So that also means you can even like like uh, you can have like a server wide chat, right? Like or like a, you know what I'm saying? Like a cross server chat. You can chat we can chat with other people even if they're not in your in the same server. Um you can also have like server browsers, you know what I'm saying? That can be kinda cool. Um and then um like global announcement. Like for example like uh you know how there's like events in jailbreak uh, or there was at least. I'm not. I don't really play that much, honestly. I don't. I don't know if there is, but um, anymore. But like for example, like what if there was like a challenge in your game, right? To find the special item, and if you found the item, then everybody in the in the game could know because you could put an announcement up like, oh, this guy found the special item, and he's the only one who has. It. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. Um, but it could be pretty cool. All right. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys how to use this and how this all works. All right. So first things first, let's go ahead and insert a script into our server script service. All right. And I'm actually gonna make two scripts to make this simple because I could put more than one but it, it would get confusing pretty fast and um and yeah anyways um okay I'm yeah okay I'm making another script down here okay I'm, I'm gonna call this one just um subscribing and then I'm gonna call this one down here um <laughs> publishing I, I know it might sound a little weird like subscribing like YouTube subscribing it actually kind of is like that honestly but don't worry about it for now all right so just only have this one open for now just subscribing one Okay, anyways, so what is messaging service and how it works, right? Like I just said, I explained it just now for you. You know, it allows you to communicate with other servers in the same game in real time, which is very, very cool. All right, so first things first, we have to actually get the service. So we'll do mes local messaging service, equal to game dot get service or calling get service messaging service. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and do... Um, messaging uh, yeah okay we're gonna go ahead and do um messaging service subs colon subscribe async global no not global um what can we do uh how am i gonna do? actually yeah we'll do we'll do an announcement right so we'll do yeah global um actually we'll just do announcements okay and there we go all right so now everybody in the server is gonna get this announcement okay so like we'll, we'll name it like player found item announcement now actually we're not gonna have the actual item i could code that in but it would take a little lot longer and i'm just gonna explain um just you know message for this tutorial all right anyway so then we have to go ahead and insert a function into our um our uh thing right here so we'll do a local function and then we can just type i guess message in here and then um there we go and let me leave that extra parenthesis. all right so there we go all right so and now we have um, everything here. All right, so actually, let me make that message like the right way because I'm pretty sure it's just, you know, it's going to make more sense. All right, there we go. All right, now, basically, how this works, let me explain it for you. All right, so how messaging service works is basically when you have a messaging service, okay, you just, when you have a messaging service, there's two main functions, okay? There's subscribing, or subscribe async, and then there's publish async, okay? And then basically, you have to subscribe to a topic. Which is this right here, okay? I put the first parameter of this right here is a topic, okay? And basically, this is the topic that you subscribe to. Um, and basically, what happens is you're now able to subscribe to this topic, and then if you publish to it, or if someone publishes to it, then they're gonna get that announcement. So, yeah. So this is the subscribing one. So we'll, all we're gonna do is subscribe to it, okay? And then we're gonna print out if a message is sent, right? Then we're going to do message.data. We're going to print message.data. And then we can do um, message.time as well. Because, or no, no, sorry, it's not message.time. Print message.dots 
sent, okay? Um, and that gives you the time it was sent. So yeah. Now obviously if you do if you run the script right now, nothing's gonna happen because we actually didn't even subscribe to or we did subscribe to this. We we forgot, we're now subscribed to this topic called player found item announcement. Okay, that's how like people that's how like they're supposed to reference to it. It's called a topic, all right, which is just a string pretty much. And then it's like, you know, an important string, you have to make sure it's exactly the same. All right, so yeah, that's the string, okay? So now we actually need to publish to it because right now we're subscribed to it, but if any if we don't get any Anything published, we won't get any notifications. You know what I'm saying? Think of it like a YouTube notification system. I just talked really fast. Think of it like a YouTube notification script system, okay? Like, if someone publishes a video, then you get a message sent to you. But if they don't publish, then they're not going to get any messages. So we need to actually go ahead and publish to them. And if you, you know, if you subscribe to them, then you get the message sent to you when they publish. All right, anyway, let's go to the publishing script right here. And then we'll just go ahead and redefine this. Um, now, you could do this in the same script, obviously. I'm trying, to make it, I'm trying to make it simple, so I'm not going to. And then we're just gonna do messaging service, um, and then we need to publish. Okay, so messaging service uh, publish. Wait a minute, one sec. Um, okay, we're gonna do a messaging service publish async. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and print or the topic. Okay, we need to put the topic in here. All right, that's the first thing. So the topic, we'll just copy and paste it. We gotta make sure it's exactly the same. All right, we don't wanna mess that up. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a comma. And then we're going to put the message we want to send. All right, and the message we want to send, it, it, I'm pretty sure it can only be a string up to 80 characters. Uh, actually, no, the topics can only be 80 characters. Sorry. Um, I, I'm pretty sure you can put whatever you want in here. Um, but actually, I should probably figure that out if you put if you can put anything you want in there. Uh, it's a variant message. It says, I'm looking at the dev forum right now. Uh... Okay, so it's a variant. I'm pretty sure you can put anything on, but we're gonna put a string in there for now. All right. Anyways, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is, yeah, it's a tuple. Okay, you can put anything you want in there. All right. Anyways, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is put our string in here, which will be our announcement, and we'll just call it um, "player has found the item." Um, and there we go. And now they'll know players found the item. So that's all you have to do. This is it. Just publish, and then you're good. All right. And then we're gonna go back here, and then it's gonna print it out whenever it's actually found something. So as you can see, if you run the game right here, it'll work just fine. As you can see, um, oh, messages, message router service disconnected. Okay, we need to publish our game. That might be the issue. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, go ahead and publish your game real quick, just to make sure that's not it. Um, do a quick publish. Here you go. Create new plays. Perfect. Publish. Next. Next. Okay, and then let me actually go to the game settings real quick and make sure everything is enabled, like all the APIs. Um, there you go. Was I right? Okay, I was correct. Yeah. My bad, guys. Make sure you publish your game beforehand or else you'll have a little error. Anyways, um, actually, I probably can add that script back now. Let me actually go ahead and control Z that. And let me see if that works. If it doesn't work, I'll just paste it in the console, which was my idea in the first place. All right, let's go ahead and see if that works. And then, as you can see here... Uh, it didn't work. Okay. All right. It's fine. It's fine, guys. Don't don't worry. It's, it's oh, okay. The script was empty. That's why. All right. One second. Let me put this back. <laughs> um, messaging service. Uh, there we go. Messaging service. Publish async. And the topic. And the player has found the item. Okay. There we go. And then this should work. I think. All right, there we go. It worked. Okay, awesome. That's messaging service. Now, this would actually print out in any server. I know we're only in studio right now, but this would print out in literally any server. So, um, actually, every server because they all have the same script, right? All, all servers are the same. Actually, well, that's not that's not true because if a server started before the game was published on a different update, that wouldn't be the same. So that's not true. But anyways, the point is if. As long as the server was subscribed to this message or this topic, which is player found item announcement, then it would work. Now, if I were to change this topic right here, even like I, I misspelled like a letter, okay, or if I like missed, or like I, I put a lowercase a for announcement, it's not going to work. And they'll see why in a second here, but that's because um, it's not the same topic name. The topic needs to be exact, okay? It's like following an account. It needs to be the exact name. I know that actually like most accounts you don't, it doesn't really matter for the exact name, but you get what I'm saying. Even the caps, though, that they matter on this, okay? So make sure the caps, everything is the exact same to the topic message. Most of the time, you can just put, like, uh, your string up here, like, local topic um, one is equal to. And then there you go. You can just copy that to your thing right here. And then just pass through topic one. Um, but, you know, whatever works for you, whatever, it works for you. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it, though. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, this is a pretty simple 
kind of explanation of messaging service, but that is it. That's literally how you do it. It's that simple. Um, I hope you guys did the video. If you guys did, like always, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace.